Kids Incorporated was a memorable TV show from the mid-1980s that mixed music, drama, and comedy. It stood out because it featured young actors and was really enjoyable to watch. This show is interesting for many reasons, from its fun production stories to its lasting impact on TV. It's famous for its great music, stories that were easy to relate to, and the energy of its young stars. These qualities made it a standout show. Every character in the show was unique, from the lead singer with lots of charm to the funny drummer and the kind-hearted keyboard player. Their different personalities made the show fun and left us with great memories. Now it's your turn to share. What do you remember most about Kids Incorporated? Any special moments or experiences you had with the show? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Let's celebrate the fun of Kids Incorporated together. The TV show Kids Incorporated is really popular, especially with people who remember the 1980s. It's known for mixing music, fashion, and stories in a way that really shows what that time was like. This show was special because it introduced young viewers to music from the 80s through versions made for kids. It's also famous for being the starting point for famous people like Jennifer Love Hewitt and Stacy Ferguson. They both became really successful, and seeing them in the show is interesting because it's like watching them when they were just starting. The way the show used songs in its stories was a big part of what made it fun to watch. The songs fit right into the plot, making each episode exciting. The fashion and costumes in the show also did a great job of showing off the cool and different styles of the 1980s. Many fans want to see Kids Incorporated again, maybe on DVD or a streaming service. They think it would be great for people who loved it before and new viewers too. There's a lot of love for the show and fans have even started online petitions to bring it back. In short, Kids Incorporated is a big part of 1980s culture known for its music style and for starting the careers of famous people. Bringing it back would let old fans and new people enjoy its unique mix of music and stories. After its initial run on local stations, the show faced cancellation. However, it found a second life through reruns on the Christian Broadcasting Network. During this period, the show was considered for Nickelodeon, then the leading children's cable network. Despite this, it ultimately found a new home on the Disney Channel, a rapidly growing cable channel at the time. An interesting note about the show's casting includes the guest appearance of Scott Wolf in one episode. This appearance was notable as he later joined forces with Jennifer Love Hewitt in the popular television series Party of Five, marking an early connection between these two actors. The series experienced a significant hiatus after the 1989 season. This break lasted until 1991, and when the show resumed, there were notable changes in the cast. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Kenny Ford were the only members from the previous season to return. This shift marked a fresh start for the series, introducing new dynamics and characters to the audience. Among the cast of the show, only a few had true skills in playing musical instruments. Ryan Lambert, Mario Lopez, and Richard Schaff were the ones who really knew how to play. The rest of the cast just pretended to play their instruments during performances. However, Haley Johnson, who joined later, learned to play the guitar by 1997, adding real musical talent to the show. Stacy Ferguson was on the show for the longest time. She started with the first episode and stayed for six seasons, becoming a key part of the show for a long time. Her constant presence helped keep the show's stories and characters connected over the years. The character Robin went through a big change in 1989. At first, a different actress played her, but then Jennifer Love Hewitt took over the role in the middle of that season. This change brought Hewitt into a significant role in the show. These details give a look into what happened behind the scenes of the series. They show the true skills of the young actors and how changes in the cast helped shape the show's stories over time. The show's approach to its cast changes was quite unique. Most of the original members, including Moosey Dreyer, experienced written exits from the storyline. This method of handling cast departures added a layer of continuity to the narrative, allowing the show to evolve organically over time. Such changes kept the storyline fresh and interesting, reflecting the inevitable shifts that occur in real-life groups and teams. An interesting aspect of Stacey Ferguson's tenure on the show was her transition from the youngest to the eldest member. This shift in her role within the cast mirrors a natural progression often seen in long-running series where younger members mature and take on more prominent roles. 
Her journey through the series provided a consistent thread for the audience as they witnessed her growth and development. In the 1990s, Eric Balfour was the only cast member whose departure was explained in the show's storyline. This contrasts with the exits of Jennifer Love Hewitt, Kenny Ford, and Jared Delgin, whose disappearances were left unaddressed. This selective approach to character departures highlights the show's flexible narrative structure, which could adapt to the changing cast while maintaining the overall flow of the series. The show's handling of character exits and transitions is a testament to its dynamic storytelling approach, reflecting the realities of changing casts in long-running television series. These details offer a deeper understanding of the show's structure and its approach to continuity and character development. The show, known for mixing music and drama, had a secret about its performances. In 1987, Ryan Lambert, one of the actors, told a magazine that the cast didn't actually sing while filming. They recorded the songs in a studio and then lip-synced to them on set. However, they did sing for real during live shows and other events, showing off their true singing skills. There's a surprising fact about the ages of Richard Schaff and Stacy Ferguson from the cast. Schaff was actually five months younger than Ferguson, which might be unexpected for viewers because of the way they were shown in the show. This series was also the starting point for many actors who became famous later. Among them are Ferguson, who joined the Black Eyed Peas, and Mario Lopez, known for Saved by the Bell. Other stars who started here include Martica, Shannis, Jennifer Love Hewitt, and Eric Balfour. They all went on to have great careers in show business, and being on this show was an important early step for them. These details give a clearer picture of how the show was made and its influence on TV and music. From the way they handled singing on set to the early days of actors who became big names, these facts add to the interesting history of this well-liked series. The filming schedule for the show was set up so the young actors could still go to school, with shooting happening during their summer break. They filmed from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., making sure their education was still a top priority. When Richard Schaff joined, the cast's dynamic changed. At first, there were six main young actors, but this number went up and down. After Connie Liu and Ryan Lambert left, there were five main actors, showing how the show could adjust to changes in its cast. The length of time each actor stayed on the show varied, showing how the show changed over time. Renee Sands, Ration Patterson, Ryan Lambert, Moosey Dreyer, Mario Lopez, and Kenny Ford were key members for four seasons, playing a big part in shaping the show. Connie Liu, Devin Pewitt, and Jennifer Love Hewitt were there for two seasons each. Martica, Sean O'Riordan, and Richard Schaff were in the show for three seasons. Jerry Sherrill, Eric Balfour, and Jared Delgin were only there for one season, showing how the show was always open to new changes. This shows how the cast of the show changed a lot, but it still stayed popular and exciting with different groups of young actors. It's a sign of how the show could grow and change over time, meeting the needs of its young actors while still providing great entertainment and stories.